Welcome into the High School Hot Reel. I'm Alex Risen, solo again with Brian, taking care of the Cats coverage for the Blue White game at Rupp Arena. Entering tonight, Danville had won six of last seven in the series with LCA, including knocking out the Eagles in the playoffs the last two seasons. Both teams perfect with the district title on the line. It's our game of the week. Highlights coming to you here thanks to at HL Preps Josh Moore. Danville taking the lead on the Zach Thornton scamper up the near sideline, tiptoeing his way in for six. He doesn't respond, though, to tie things back up. The Dylan Wheatley weave untouched for the touchdown. Back and forth they would go here in Lexus. Danville's Jaleel Warren from Zach Thornton makes the catch of his career. Going up top on the far side for the snag. 34-28 adds, 44-28 Danville over LCA. How about Henry Clay looking to keep Frederick Douglas from sweeping Lexington competition in its opening year out at the farm? Jefferson Harkless having other plans right there with the big carry. Then Montavia Bean with a drop back. Fires and finds Mike Galo in traffic. Heck of a catch for six, but not really. Penalty takes the points off the board, so the celebration for the Broncos was short-lived. Later, Bean again firing as time expires in the first half. Picked off in the end zone by Raymond Raymond Razor Jackson, who proceeds to take it to the house. Tying the cage, just a record for interception return for six. Seven up the Devils at the break. Douglas on phase, though, hangs 14 in the second half for the win. 14 7, your final for Douglas over Henry Clay. The last time Brian Station was winless and took on PLD, it won. The exact scenario happened back in 2010. Defenders hosting the winless dogs tonight. PLD getting stacked up early in the scrum. Station takes over, but can't hold on to the ball. Fumbled by PLD, Dunbar stalls out, settles for the field goal after getting stacked up. Take three enough lead right here into the second quarter 2018, your final station with the win and playoff bound. Lafayette, Tates Creek, and the Roy Walton Bowl. Doors looking to beat the Generals for the first time since 2013 at 21-0 when Lafayette's Ian Shaw forces the fumble and takes it to the house for the score. 21-7 after PAT, a little life here in Lafayette with Doors trying to run out the clock. Luke Doobie hands it off to Tiante White, and that does it. Bring out the Roy Walton Trophy and the bucket. Hand it over, baby. The Creek wins the district. It's 15th all time. TC 21, General 7 your final. Madison Central is one of the last two against GRC Indians at Cardinals tonight. In the second quarter, GRC still has to score. The Indians, Freddie Chenault, taking the ball around the outside, takes it up to the 40. Then Central with the handoff. Ethan Hahn faking out the cameraman there. Comes back around the backfield. Indians rack up 364 yards of total offense average, seven yards per play. We're going to win this thing 34-14 Central over Clark County. Lexington Catholic playing host to Garrett County. Knights winners of three straight in the series and knocked out the Lions in the playoffs last year. Josh Warren, though, hard running tonight for six right there. Catholic responds. Bo Allen on the screen to Nathan Schnur. Makes multiple Lions. Miss huge chunk yards picked up to set up a touchdown. Allen goes 7-9 for 178 yards and a pair of scores. Damian Jones here with the aforementioned score. Three on the night for him, 183 yards in all, 42-24 Catholic. The final over the Lions. Both schools, by the way, rack up close to 500 yards of offense. The rivalries continue after the break. Pulaski hosts out to Western Plus. East Jess visits West Jess and more, including Middlesbrough and Somerset. Jumper Nation, you're up next. We're the Somerset High School cheerleaders, and you're watching the High School Highlight Reel on ABC 36. Let's get Jeff Thanks for staying with us. 27 games have been played between Pulaski County and rival Southwestern prior to tonight. Maroons leading the series 14-13 all-time. PC 6-6 six six at home against the Warriors five times. The district title has been decided. On this night, three times PC to victor the Warriors twice. In 2014 and 2016, the Maroons avenged a regular season loss to win the region title over Southwestern. That's kind of setting the stage. Playing history for you there. Pulaski hosting Southwestern tonight. Second quarter down the score. Pulaski County driving. Looking to notch things up. Wiley Kane finds a tight end. Matt Hendricks moving rooms into the red zone. But the Warrior defense throws but never breaks. Kane tries to lob it up for his man. But Jake Sloan comes down with it. Excellent play on the ball there. Breaks it up. Catches it off the bobble, takes it 78 yards to the house. That makes it 27 13 Southwestern. Warriors win it big on the Maroons, 54 20. That knocks up the all time series. Anderson County visiting Madison Southern. Eagles win, secures the district crown. Start the fourth quarter. Bearcats working against the running clock already. Blake Franklin gets the toss off the right side. Skinny's between the whole blast, 76 yards for the Anderson County score. Bearcats trying to make it interesting. Next drive, a little uh-oh, though. Eagles cough it up. Recovered by Anderson County, and the Eagle defense too much, though. They hold on to take care of the Bearcats and stop that comeback. 
Here's Madison Southern, 486 total yards of offense, averaging nine yards of play. Southern takes it 41-20, the final over Anderson County. Montgomery County hosting winless Woodford tonight. Montgomery starting the game quickly out in Mount Sterling with a touchdown in the first 20 seconds of this thing. Check out the second touchdown. Trey Ishmael launches it. Farrell Davis makes the catch up the sideline into the end zone for the score. It's 14-0. Indians Charles Collins has the ball. Nice run for the backfield. Another touchdown early in the game, and the route was on. Montgomery County wins a big 61-14 over the Jackets. East Jessamine looking to sweep the district out to defending its title and crown. Visiting rival West Jess Colts off of the rest season start since 2010. West Jess and Jacob Hume searching for a man. Throws to Desmond James for some yards. A big pick up there. Then Hume's pass to James Swinsel. Catches it right in the end zone, but the Colts trying to make the comeback in the end. It wasn't enough. East Jess sweeps the district once more. 21-16, your final for West Jess. Somerset and Middlesboro battling for third place behind LCA and Danville. Now Danville and LCA, now we know the final in the district. Fireworks on senior night for Somerset after that. Some sides, first drive for the Briar Jumpers. Ty Tepps takes the toss, makes a few jacket defenders miss, kicks it into high gear. Ties for the pylon, gives Somerset the early sixth at the lead after this extra point. Next jump to drive, Mason Reese finds Josh Cornett on the screen. He does the rest, jukes back inside, finds a crease all the way to the house. 53 to nothing. Jumpers take care of Middlesboro in the shutout.